My guest now is a lady who's been called a competent and sometimes inspired actress, and the lady whose life is suitable for the subject of a thousand short stories. Her name, Jane Asher. Jane, welcome to 655. Thank you. You've been in acting for a long, long time because your mother took you to an agent when you were only six years of age. Most mothers, of course, don't do that. Was your mother quite pushy? No, she wasn't. It's, uh, it's always something that's puzzled me because neither of my parents were what you'd call theatrical um, parents as such, the types that you, you imagine to be pushing their children into that kind of thing. It's always difficult to look back and work out exactly what did go on. I think they had some friends who had children who'd done little bits in, in films and so on, who enjoyed it enormously, who said to my parents, oh, you should take those three along. You know, we all had red hair and looked sort of cute, I imagine. Um, and they did, as, as rather a joke, I think. Um, never expected us to take it very seriously. And then we got odd parts in films and TV things and so on, and, and it just went on from there. But it, it is unlike them. I mean, it's, it's, it's something I've never quite worked out. But having gone through it, is it something that you would encourage your own children to go into? No, no, very much the opposite. I mean, obviously, if they decided to act later on in their lives, that's their decision. But certainly as children, I, I would hate them to do it. Why? Because although I think I and my brother and sister were, were lucky in that we escaped perhaps the worst of the, of the pressures on children, I think a lot of the children I watched go through it um, did have a very tough time. The worst thing, I think, is to fail at such a young age. You used to see thousands of children queuing up at auditions and so on, and most of them, of course, would fail, and it's a rather hard lesson to learn so young, I think. And to have to push yourself as a... Your vehicle is just yourself, you know, to be told you're, you're no good, you're too small, you're too fat, you're not funny enough, whatever it is. It's, it's rather unhealthy, I think. The spotlight was always on you throughout the 60s. Having been in show business since six years of age, did it help you then to cope with that sort of thing? Possibly, although I think um, no one's quite prepared for the onslaught of the gossipy side of journalism that I went through for a while. I, I think it may have helped a little bit, but it was still rather hard. It takes a long time to learn to keep away from them, how to, how to keep away from them. But I mean, almost every girl, I think, going into show business goes through it to a certain extent. And it's very difficult if you're sort of 15, 16, and a press photographer says, you know, oh, hitch your skirt up a bit, cross your legs, Jane, you know, lean, lean over. It takes a, a long time to learn to say no, I, I don't want to do that. And the pressures are enormous. You're going to take a bit of a break from filming now, because uh, you're pregnant again, aren't you? Yes, yes. That must be making you feel tremendous. Oh, it's lovely, yes. yes. But what, you're not going to presumably sit at home and just wait for the baby to arrive, are you? No, I've, I've been pretty busy. It's, uh, I always think, oh, when I'm pregnant, that's wonderful, I can get on with all sorts of things, but there seem to be so many things to do. Uh, one doesn't have as much time as you expect. And I've been putting together a, another book. I did a book last year on party cakes, strange sort of ornate cakes, which was surprisingly successful. And uh, I had another idea I've wanted to do for some time uh, of fancy dress for children and adults. Because obviously working in the theatre, you get to know a lot of tricks of making things look very expensive, ornate and complicated, when in fact they're just made out of old glue and fruit gums, whatever it is. And so I've really been working on that pretty hard uh, some of the time, getting that together. Well, I look forward to the book coming out. Jane Asher, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you.